Good morning from sunny Southern California. Not, it's actually pretty gloomy today. If you couldn't tell by the intro of that video, it's, it's pretty nasty outside today. So I've been spending my entire morning right here editing, editing, because apparently this is what people who make vlogs spend a majority of their time doing. Uh, today is New Year's Eve. I still don't have concrete plans of what I want to do with today. I don't know, it was rainy, it's cold. I kind of just want to stay inside for the time being. I am going to go meet up with my buddy Tony in a little bit to pick up a bass guitar. Uh, I might go to Valencia later. I can't, you know, honestly, I'm really feeling like being a bum for New Year's Eve. I don't know what that is, but I don't really feel like doing anything. There's a party going on at my old roommate's buddy's house in Valencia, but that's like 80 miles away from me. I'm not sure if I feel like making that drive today. <laughs> to be honest, I'm kind of a chill person in general. Going out and doing stuff like that and having like these big grand parties is nice. Um, but I'm just not feeling it today. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of lazy. I'm feeling kind of minimal. I wish I just had like something chill to do. My friend Anna did invite me over to her house so I might go over there. I have to take a quick break from this to go meet up with my buddy Anthony Marshall. Tony Marshall, AKA Tony Tone. He's in town for the moment so I'm gonna go meet up with him Pick up his bass. He also wants to check out the camera and I'm sure he wants to talk in a little bit. Him and I used to be next door neighbors growing up so we spent a lot of time and we've got a lot to catch up on now because we don't live in the same city. We don't see each other as often anymore. I'm gonna go to his work right now so maybe he won't have that much time. But we're gonna meet up. I'm gonna pick up the bass guitar, get out of this house for a little bit. But enough talking, enough talking. I gotta get out of here. I haven't even showered yet. It's noon, I haven't showered yet. I need to get cleaned up and I need to go meet up with Tony Tone. You know, it's crazy how much a shower and you know like brushing your teeth and just like getting cleaned up for the day really changes your mood. I'm not gonna lie, I was totally feeling like being a lazy bum before I cleaned up, but now I feel good. Oh shit, look who it is. Guilty as always. What's up man? What? Oh. I can't believe this thing is still alive. You went this truck? This truck. This truck has been around for a long time now. And it was originally acquired as a trade. Oh, look it! You got the marathon in here and everything. Yeah, it's nasty as hell out here. This is this is New Year's Eve. This is how New Year's Eve is gonna be. We're going to his uh, his his, se his secret his secret workplace. Oh, look at all this fancy ass stuff. What is all this? this is diesel injection service, my Wait, friend. This is all you? This whole oh, yeah. this whole department? Where's the push-up area? Because I know you guys do push-ups. <laughs> the shop is like 10 times bigger than the kind of thing that I work in. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. We're finally trying to get it settled in how we need to do manufacturing. This looks like a, like a very expensive room. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's all like measuring devices. That's, that's the device you're talking about? Oh, look who I found! It's Laura! Oh, it's Laura! How cute is that? Everything is so fancy. It's not Martha Stoic Rolls. It's so fancy in here. This is currently my life. The best thing I have to look at. I just got back home after meeting up with Mr. Marshall. And I gotta say, today is just one of those. Today's just one of those days that this is like, like a picturesque lazy day. It's just a lazy day. It's just a lazy day. You know what, but every once in a while it's good to have a lazy day. Especially when the weather forces you to kind of not go out and do anything. This is life. This is life. New Year's Eve 2016. The most uneventful New Year's Eve I've ever experienced. <laughs> you can't expect every day to be super amazing sometimes. Sometimes these kind of days just come around and take it for what it is, you know? You make sure the next time the sun is out that you take full advantage of a sunny day. And I am 100% a summer person because it's days, it's days like today where it's nasty and gloomy outside that makes me really just miss the summer. So bad. Look at the ground! 
Aaron, go! Get it! Go! How do they do that? Why? Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! He's my children. Okay, good morning. It's now the next day. It is January 1st, 2017. I didn't really do much last night. Kept it low-key. But look, look how beautiful it is outside now. The rain. The rain is gone. That's a good start to the new year. Um, I just barely woke up. I'm probably going to try and get myself a get together a little bit. Happy New Year! So it's Sunday. New Year's Day happened to fall on a Sunday this year. And Sundays are always reserved for football. I just got to Black Angus and I'm going to meet up with my dad and my cousin and do what we do on Sundays. What up, man? What up, dude? Good. All right, all right. What up? What up? <laughs> Yeah, you can. How are you? Let's go, McGoy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go, right? It's still 30 minutes left. We got a whole game left. Let's go. And these bitches are here left. Yeah, I'm pissed off. <laughs> this camera does a really good job of lighting up the place, but it's actually getting kind of towards um, the end of the day. I just got out of the Raider game, or I just got out of Black Angus watching the football game with my dad and I decided instead of going home I would come and check out a spot that I, I used to come to a lot when I was in uh, when I was in high school and when I was in like the beginning years of college uh, there's a great view of the area of which I live in uh, there's a great view of San Bernardino there's a great view of Colton It's just another good Sunday evening. Look at that view. Look at that view. You know, a lot of people talk a lot of shit about living in Colton, San Bernardino, Riverside, Inland Empire area. And you know what, sometimes it is justified because there ain't, there ain't a whole lot to do out here. But I mean, there are hills for days. And look at this, look at this view. Can you beat that? This used to be somewhere we used to come a lot when we were fresh out of high school. It's up here in a place called Honey Hills and it overlooks the entire city. I'm not sure if you can really appreciate that, but take a look. And it's so easy to get to. I absolutely love coming up here and I haven't been up here in a long time. And I'm actually by myself, which is probably not the smartest thing, but it's 2017 now. It's almost like starting a new semester in school. It's like you get kind of a clean slate. Not really, but it's like the same idea. I am a firm believer in setting goals. So this is my advice to you. If you have something you really want to achieve in the next year, put everything you got into it. Time's gonna keep passing. And if you don't decide to take advantage of the time that's available to you, you're going to miss out and you're going to regret it. Make some concrete goals for 2017. Write them down. Put them in a place where you can see them every day to remind you of what you're trying to accomplish. And shit won't happen for you if you don't make it happen for yourself. And more importantly, you need to be chasing after the stuff that makes you happy. So with that being said, I'm going to end this vlog. I hope everyone watching this has a fa had a fantastic New Year's Eve, had a safe New Year's Eve, and I hope you guys are all looking out for the horizon. Seriously.
2017 can be the year that you make it if you choose to make it good. So find your goals, get yourself together, and get after that. I will see you guys next time. Be happy, stay focused, and live your life to the fullest. Good night.